Hey, it's Apple Buff and welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to check out everything that's new with the first developer beta of iOS 15. So without a further ado, let's roll the video. Look at everything that's new in this update, let's talk about the update first. So it was an update of 5.5 GB on my iPhone XR which of course may vary from phone to phone. So the very first new thing that was added in this update is the new wallpaper. With the very first iOS 15 beta developer profile, Apple gives us the new wallpaper that was shown during the event. So to get the new wallpaper, you need to head over to the settings, then scroll down to wallpapers, click on still and you will be able to see the new wallpaper that was added. Number 2. Organized notification panel. Along with the new wallpaper, the update even brings a whole new notification panel that is way more organized than ever before. With iOS 15, we will get notification summary which when clicked individually will get expanded. Number 3. A new Find My Widget The update brings the joy of finding not only the location of your favorite person but also your items through the Find My Widget. The widget comes in two size options, each for people and items that can be added to the home screen. Number 4. Changes in iMessage When it comes to changes in iMessage, the update even covers that. With the update, it gives the user the ability to do quite a few things like if you think a particular link is important to you, then you can pin the message with the link by double tapping on it and hitting the pin icon. Number 5. Focus Mode one of the key additions with the update is the addition of focus mode that when enabled helps one to focus on work by hiding distractions. To enable focus mode, just bring up the control center, long press on the focus tab to bring up the options. From here, you can choose what type of session you want, like will it be for personal or for work or for sleep. So along with the all above mentioned addition, there have been other additions too such as Number 1. Being able to copy text directly from a screenshot or a photo. Number 2. New and a detailed look of the weather app that, to be honest, looks pretty cool. Number 3. A completely new look to Safari which, to be honest, in my opinion, looks absolutely fresh. Lastly, being able to create FaceTime links of or say for FaceTime calls that can be even shared to invite other people. So with that being said, this is Apple Buff signing off. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.